All right, everybody. So welcome to my video introductory series to the CAN bus. Now the CAN bus shield that I'm going to be using is this one from Micro Center. Uh, it's the Inland KS0411 CAN bus shield. You can pick this up for just about $7. Um, it only has the CAN uh, module, so the MCP2515 and then um, an SD card. However, if you want one that has more functionality, then you can pick this one up from SparkFun. This one has an LCD, uh, a, GPI, a GPS, uh, and a joystick. Um, of course, these are all breakouts. Uh, you will have to purchase the GPS and LCD separately, but this one just gives you more functionality, uh, but it is $30, so it's quite expensive uh, as compared to the one that you can get for $7. So this is the one that I'm going to be using just because this is the one I have. So without further ado, let's get to what you will need to get up and running with this project. All right, so first and foremost, you're gonna need an Arduino. These are great and you can pick them up for cheap. Uh, I got that one at Micro Center as well. The next thing you're gonna need is obviously the CAN bus shield. You can see the little Inland logo right there in the corner. Uh, and then here's the box that that came with. Obviously, you can see, you know, $6.99, can't beat that price. Uh, and then after that, you're going to need some 120 ohm resistors. Now, these are the through hole resistors. Uh, I just, you know, you I, you could just solder them on to, into the can high and can low headers, or you could get that 0603 resistor, but that thing is tiny. Uh, and later on, we'll look at it under a microscope. Uh, and then after that, you are going to need a DB9 cable. Now this DB9 cable here, um, you're gonna need it to be a straight through cable. There's two types, there's a straight through and there's a null. Do not get the null cable, get the straight through cable. Uh, and then here you're gonna need a DB9 to OBD2. Uh, do not get the one from SparkFun, get the one from Adafruit, I'll link it down below. You need can, uh, pins two and pin seven to be can high and can low, or can low and can high. Um, I'll, I'll link it down below and then at, after that you just need obviously a cable to program the Arduino and that's it All right, welcome to the assembly portion of the video So obviously first off you need your Arduino then your CAN bus and because it's a CAN bus shield You just stack it on top now you want to be careful of those pins because they're pretty flimsy on this shield. Uh, you know, just make sure they're all lined up. Here you can see me kind of try and force them down, but obviously not all of them line up, so it's not going to go in. And there we go. Now we just sandwich it together and snug like a bug. So now, uh, if you use the 120 ohm through hole resistor, then uh, you could either solder on or you could put it in a jumper like I did right there. Uh, I recommend you solder it on because that little jumper could short and you obviously don't want to short your can high and can low lines. Uh, or you could put the uh, you know 0603 resistor but that thing is tiny. Now after you made that one you want to make another one. <laughs> yes that's right you need two. Uh, I should only mention that you need two if you are going to be testing. If you just want to, you know, live life on the edge, then you could just get one and not test it and then, you know, see what you get. Maybe you get lucky. Now, this DB9 cable is a straight through cable. It's not the null cable that you typically find. So make sure you get the uh, straight through cable. And you only need to do this if you are testing. Uh, if you don't want to test yours uh, and you don't have two Arduinos or two shields, that's totally fine. Uh, I'm just gonna do this for the sake of the video, but you know, that's it. Now you have a um, transmitter and a receiver. Okay, so let's say that you got everything that you needed and you also wired up everything just like I showed you. The next thing that you want to do is you want to head over to this wiki, uh, this wiki page right here. And this is the wiki for the KS0411, which is the canvas shield that we picked up from Micro Center. Uh, obviously, this one looks a little different. 
uh, from the one that you got from Micro Center, which looks like this. Um, but, you know, it's pretty much the same. So um, this wiki just, you know, this is the one I use for the information just because I can't find anything on Micro Center about um, this canvas shield. But I believe uh, KS Studio actually makes the one that Micro Center sells and Micro Center just puts a new silk screen and rebrands it. So this is the uh, basically the data sheet or documentation because they don't provide a data sheet for it. Uh, but you want to read all this um, documentation here. But I'm just going to gloss over it and then talk about the most important parts. So one of them being is this uh, 120 ohm termination resistor that you saw me connect between can high and can low. And then the 0603 that you could optionally put in those two little pads right there. Now I will show you uh, how difficult that actually is if you don't have a reflow plate, uh, which I don't, but I will try to take a soldering iron to it. We'll see how it goes. And then this is the code for the sender Arduino, which is going to emulate uh, basically sending signals from your car to uh, the receiver Arduino. And then this is the code for that, which is going to be getting those codes from your car. And this is basically the wiring diagram that I showed you uh, previously, except with the exception of the SD card. Uh, I didn't put an SD card on mine. I will do that in the next video. And then we'll do some data logging to figure out what the codes we get from our car, what they actually mean. Now, uh, in order to get these, uh, basically, I mean, in, to get this code to work, you're going to need these libraries. Because you could just copy and paste this and then, you know, paste it into the Arduino. But it's not going to work because you're going to be missing these libraries. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to hit uh, click on this link right here. And it's going to bring you to this Dropbox. Now in this Dropbox, it, it's going to look like this. And you're going to want to hit Resource, Libraries, and then you're going to hit Download. And that uh, I, already, I already downloaded it right here. You can see it at the bottom left of my screen. So now I'm just going to open the Arduino IDE. And if you don't know how to add libraries to the Arduino IDE, I'm going to show you that really quick. So you're just going to go up here. You're going to hit Sketch, Include Library, Add Zip Library. You're going to click where you have that library. So for me, it's going to be Downloads and then Libraries. And then you're going to hit Open. Uh, but of course, I already have it. So it's going to be like a library name can bus already exists. Great. Um, now from here, you could just go back to the wiki and copy the code and upload it and that's all good. But I actually already have it uh, saved here. So this is the sender. Uh, I'm going to open that up. Basically what this does is it includes all the libraries that we need and then starts the serial monitor and then basically initializes the CAN bus and then this is the message that's going to be sent out. So this is the message ID, and then these are the actual uh, data bits. Now, if you don't know what this means, uh, I will put a link to a Wikipedia article that basically deciphers the entire CAN message that uh, your car sends out. Uh, but we'll talk more about that in the next video. Uh, so what you're going to want to do from here is you're going to want to plug in your Arduino, as I'll show you right now. So once your Arduino is uh, actually plugged in, you're going to go to Tools, Port, and then hit COM11, which is the COM port that you know your Arduino is using to communicate with your computer. So we're going to compile the sketch, and the sketch is compiled, and then we're going to hit Upload. And then it's just going to upload, do its thing. Cool. Uh, okay, so now after this what you're going to want to do is you are going to want to connect the other Arduino As I did right there And then we're going to come over here to file Open and then I have the receiver right here Now I'm going to go to tools port com 9 again This code right here is for the SD card that I don't have so when it tries to initialize the SD card using the spy bus it's actually going to print this message card failed or not present why because we don't have an SD card 
Uh, but if you did, I assume it would print a uh, card initialize or something. Now, however, um, after you know it goes through all the checks and stuff, uh, basically it just start receive it just starts to receive messages, and uh, we'll just open up the serial monitor and see that after we upload this code. So we're gonna hit compile. And then we're going to hit upload. And it's going to upload. Okay, it's done. So now what you're going to want to do is basically you are going to want to connect a 9 volt battery to the, um, to the Arduino, the sender Arduino. And then you are going to want to open up the serial monitor uh, on COM9. And uh, let me just, you know, reset that really quick. Oh, it's, uh, whoops. And there we go. Can in it, okay. And then card failed, but we are getting some data. So, we're all set and we're all good to go. Let's go and test this out on our car and see what type of data, uh, data we get. All right, everyone. So I'm back in my Chevy right here. I'm filming this on my phone because I don't have another camera. But uh, basically, what you want to do is you want to take the receiver end of your CAN bus here, which is uh, this module, and then the DB9 to OBD2 connector. You're gonna want to plug that in uh, right there. Uh, make sure you plug it in while the car is off. And um, you see, there's it's off and uh, connect the USB cable right after. Otherwise, you might trigger something in the car like the anti-theft, ask me how I know. Um, and then I'll just plug that in and I have the Arduino IDE right here. You just wanna make sure you have the correct COM port selected. So obviously right there, COM5. And then I'm gonna open up the serial monitor. And then we're just, yeah, right there, testing, can, okay. And then, okay, no SD card, which is good. We don't have an SD card. Uh, so basically right now it's listening for signals. I'm going to reach into my keys. So there we go. And then put the keys in the ignition. Turn it on, but don't crank it. And we start getting some codes. And uh, basically that's, that's about it. That's how you get up and running with that CAN bus shield. Obviously, there's a lot more things to do afterwards, such as put an SD card in there and then, you know, start logging all those codes and see what they mean. Obviously, if we crank the car, then we're probably going to get more codes. But right now, I just wanted to show you how you can get up and running. Uh, I guess in my next video, I'm going to add an SD card and then we'll probably figure out what some codes mean and then look at some PIDs. And then maybe try and interface them with some, you know, electronics around the car. Uh, yeah, but that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you on the next one.